Hey cuties! So today I am going to be doing a very fun video. I am going to do a candle collection video. I was going through some comments and quite a few of you have been asking me for a candle collection. I love watching collection videos. They're one of my favorite things. Any type of collection I just like to watch. And I don't necessarily collect candles, but I have a collection. Does that make sense? I love candles. I'm always burning them. Buy whatever smells good and I burn it, use them up, and then get new ones. I, I have I have a lot of candles. I'm just gonna not talk and I'm gonna show you guys my collection. This was purely your guys' request. Let's just get started! This is an overview of my candle collection. This is how many candles I own currently of the moment right now. I do have a ton of candles. I do know that. I'm obsessed with candles, especially Christmas ones. So you're gonna see a lot of Christmas ones in here because I stock up on them. So I do have a lot of that and also like food and sweet and candy smelling ones. So that's what you're gonna be seeing a trend of here. So let's just go ahead and go into my candle collection. I know I have a lot, but I do use them. I go through candles a lot. That's my dog smelling my candles. I go through candles a lot. So these aren't just like sitting there collecting dust. All right, so the ones here at the bottom, first one here, is Atkins Cider Donut and it looks like this. I love this candle. This is from KringleCandle.com. They don't know that I'm doing this so I'm in no way being paid for it. The only thing I don't like is the wick does this. I don't know why. I've never had a candle that does that but um, the smell of this is amazing. It is very fragrant when it burns there so I don't have a lid for it but I just love this one. The next one here is one that I have not burned and this is Mainstay sweet pea and it looks like that I actually got this in my peel box so thank you very much for sending this to me I can't wait to burn this it smells so yummy this next one here is an ugly looking one but I won this actually in a Christmas sort of giveaway thing I went to a steak night fundraiser type thing and I was called for one of the draw winners so I won this candle it is like a cinnamon apple kind of scent and I actually love the scent of this. This one here. This is a Glade candle. This is, oh my goodness, now I forget get the name of it but I bought this at Dollarama actually and this is such a good smelling candle and I forget the name of it but it'll be floating up there so you guys can see it. Next are some mini candles. I love mini candles for when I'm having a bath. That's basically what I use them for. The first mini one is a marshmallow, marshmallow fireside. Sorry about that and it's a great candle. This is from Bath and Body Works and I love it. The next one is one that I haven't burned yet. This is Champagne Toast. I actually got this for free in a Bath and Body Works uh, grab bag type thing on Black Friday so I was really excited about this one I love the packaging there and it just looks like this it really does smell like champagne all right these four little candles here are all from Kringle Candle again I actually did a haul on all the Kringle candles you see here um, I will link that below if you like that if you guys want to see another Kringle Candle haul let me know but this one here is in brownie cheesecake doesn't that look so good and the candle just looks like that it's actually a decent sized candle for it being a mini the next one is mango. I love the packaging. This one is probably the most fragrant that I have. This one is more of a manly scent. I don't know if it's KCM or if it's number one or if it's KCM number one. I don't know but it has a nice lie in there and this one is like it almost smells like a man's cologne. It's a very masculine scent. Under the sea this packaging is awesome. I love how it's blue there and this one is very very fresh smelling. So now at the sides here of my collection I have two of these these bigger candles and this one it is Betty Crocker as you can see I got it at liquidation world for five dollars and it's an angel food cake um it's a little bit dusty in there I'm sorry if that's gross but I've only burned this a little bit it doesn't really smell that great while burning actually it's not about smelling great it's you can't really smell it when it is burning and then the one over here is actually a really yummy one this is the Petridge Farm candle in ginger man oh my god the Petridge Farm collection is awesome 
these are big giant candles i don't remember i think i got this at value village or not value village a liquidation world as well and this is a great scent Alrighty, so now i do have a ton of bath and body works candles bath and body works candles are my favorite some of these are not bath and body works candles which i will get to but the majority of them are bath and body works and you'd be surprised at how many i buy and how many i use because i do have a lot but i'm always burning one bath and body works one in nutmeg of spice number one and this is the white barn collection i don't have anything from the white barn collection except this one and another one i'm not going to say bath and body works for every single candle so when it's not bath and body works that's when i'll say what brand it is so if i don't specify on a brand it is bath and body works this is another mini candle that i use for the bath and this one's blueberry pumpkin patch which I have burned just a little bit, so it looks like that. These are great for the bath, honestly, and they're super cheap. This is the only one that I do not have the lid to. I don't know where the lid went, but this one is cinnamon sugar donut. Um, I try to savor this one because it is so good. I've burned a lot of it, but I try to keep it because it is such a good smelling candle. It's so sugary. These little jars, this first one here is marshmallow fireside. If you do remember, I had the little one right here of marshmallow fireside it's a different packaging and obviously style because this one's a mini one snow day is the next one um when i smelled this i was not expecting the smell of it i don't know what i was expecting anyway this is snow day 2013 it's very very like vanilla-y and there's something else really really sharp in there and i don't know what it is and i really want to know but it's a really distinctive scent and it's not what i was expecting but i do love the candle Next is Apple Ale. Um, if you guys are wondering why a lot of these I haven't burned yet, because when I um, have a new candle that I take out of the cupboard, that's what I will usually just burn. You guys are probably like, oh, you're, you're not using any of your candles. No, usually when I take a candle, I will just burn it up in that week or those two weeks that I have the candle, depending on how much I'm home and how much I am lighting it. But that's why I have so many brand new ones. I just store them away and then grab them when I'm finished one. This one is a very fresh scent and I do smell the ale in there. This is actually the one that I am burning currently and it is Tis the Season. I have been trying to save this one because I love it so much. I'm actually almost done it there. It's a nice bright red color. Tis the Season looks like this and it, it's very Christmassy but I love them all year round and I love the packaging. All right, so this one is not a Bath and Body Works one. This one is one from Urban Outfitters and it is eggnog. It's their um, Christmassy candle collection. And these were originally um, $16 there and I got it for $1.99 and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it looks like this, it smells like eggnog and I don't like eggnog, but this is a very good smelling candle. I haven't burned it yet, so I don't know if it smells like that when it's lit. Okay, so I have another, my other white barn one that's sort of like a medium sized one, similar to this one. It's not quite as small as the Small Bath and Body Works mini candles. It's a medium sized one, and this one is just in spice, and I loved it. Oh my God, I made a spice cake one day, and when I smelled this, I just had to grab it because it smelled exactly like the spice cake. Okay, this one here, I have an obsession with pumpkin candles if you don't know already and this one is pumpkin caramel latte I've burned a lot of this one as well this is the one I was burning before I started doing the tis the season and I just switched so when that one's done I'll probably switch back to this one and finish it up it's so good it's a very cozy scent harvest coffee OMG I only burnt this one one time because I had um, a friend coming over who loves coffee so I just wanted to burn that for her there so I did have to light that one just once but this one is so good it literally smells like freshly brewed coffee in your house next I have French baguette which I am terrified to burn because this is my favorite candle my favorite candle it's smells like a baguette. I only burn it sometimes on special occasions when I want to smell it because I don't know if they're ever going to have this back. So I love it. I love the packaging, how it's paint striped. Okay, so this is another one of the Urban Outfitters candles and this one is in Fruitcake, $1.99 as well. And it looks like this. It doesn't smell as good as the eggnog, but it's still yummy. And then we have pineapple cream Pup, which is an adorable packaging one and it looks like that. I've never heard of a pineapple cream puff, but this is yummy. Yay for Christmassy ones. This is frosted gingerbread. Oh, 
I love gingerbread so much. I love the little shapes you can make. And this one is adorably good. Another sort of coffee one. This is a winter cafe. It smells almost identical to the coffee one. I really don't smell any type of difference. This one sort of has a little bit of more nutty sort of scent in it, but it's so good. I love coffee candles. It's a very, very fresh scent. It makes your house smell very, very fresh and the packaging is blue. Okay, so this is the last one that's not a Bath & Body Works one. This is another Kringle Candle one and it's in the flavor watercolors. And when I saw that, I was like, what the heck? How does watercolors have a scent? But it does and it smells very sort of like fresh a very different unique candle it sort of smells like it's a little soapy but i do love it okay so next is actually the very first bath and body works candle that i've ever burned and this one is a frosted cupcake looks like that this is the first one that i ever burned um i'm probably gonna come back to it after i finish off all my other ones i didn't know i had another white barn one this is a full white barn one. Oh my god vanilla firewood this is definitely in my top three favorite all time Bath & Body Works scents. This smells exactly what it says. It smells like burning firewood and somebody put vanilla extract all over the firewood. This one is probably my favorite packaging. This one is lavender marshmallow. It is super, super cute. The color is a nice lilac-y color there. Oh my God, this one was a very hot seller at Bath & Body Works this year. Watermelon lemonade. I love how bright and springy and summery it is. I actually want some watermelon lemonade now. This is one is one that I don't usually um, get. I usually get obviously like cute sweet and candy sort of scents, but this one is party dress. And this smells very luxurious. It sort of has a berry scent in it. I just like the packaging a lot. Alrighty, we're on the last two rows. This one is red velvet cupcake and there's a recipe for red velvet cupcakes up here this one oh i think i'm gonna burn this one next i keep saying that but i love it next we got cinnamon frosting and i love cinnamon buns warm cinnamon buns are my favorite another one of my top three faves and this is summer boardwalk i waited for this one to be released and they actually sold it to me a day before it was released because i was so eager on getting it, it smells like caramel corn that's exactly what it smells like a sweet cinnamon pumpkin again I have a pumpkin candle obsession I don't care if it's not fall I will be burning this that's one thing you guys got to know is it doesn't matter what season it is if I like the candle I will burn it so this one is raspberry peach macaron macaroon macaron whatever you want to say I say macaroon I don't know if that's right or not I have tried macaroons before they're really yummy and I like the color of this candle what a surprise right another pumpkin candle this is just pumpkin cupcake looks like that I want to make these so I might do that this one is really yummy this is buttercream mint you can like smell the cream in there and it's just so yummy cinnamon caramel swirl yummy 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 very yummy looks like that okay this one is a very um, sweet and fruity one. It's a sweet clementine, looks like that. My boyfriend actually picked this one out because he really liked the scent of it. He said it was nice and fresh. Okay, these next two ones are really old ones that I haven't burned yet. They are from, actually, is it a few years back? This is Bahama Fizz Fizz Bahamas. I don't like the name of it at all, but this one, you can actually smell the fizz in there. That's how gorgeous this candle is. It I haven't burned it yet, obviously, but I can't wait to see if it actually smells fizzy in the air. Okay, we're getting down to the last few candles. This one is just simply strawberry, and it smells exactly like strawberries. It actually smells better than strawberries. I really just want to keep in my room and just have as decoration. I wish I would have bought two, one to burn and one to keep, but this is pink bubble gum. I think it is so adorable. The color, that's my favorite kind of pink there. The like bubble gum pink, traditional bubble gum bubblegum pink so cute okay this is one that I don't normally get it's sort of like a little stronger this is mulled cider it does have a lot of cinnamon in there if you've noticed that I do like cinnamon candles as well so that's why I got it all right next we have sugared lemons which really is super 
sugary. It really just smells like sugar. It honestly makes your face kind of do a little squinch because it's so sugary. And then you can smell the puckeriness of the lemon scent there. And we, the last one that I own is Vanilla Bean Noel. Vanilla Bean Noel has been one of my favorite scents um, throughout my times at Bath and Body Works. And I was so happy that they finally made a candle in it. And it's such a good scent. It's like a holiday vanilla scent, obviously. And it's so pretty. And if you are curious as to how I store my candles, because I know I'm going to get questions on that. First off, I have a bookshelf in my living room and I dedicate one shelf of that to candles. So as you can see, I have a ton of them on there. And then I also use this little drawer shelf thing that I got from Yisk or Jisk. And the bottom of it here, I can store 12 candles in. So it's perfect. And then the top, I store my candle that I'm currently burning, plus a few little ones there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you very much again. Bye guys.